M0FXB, Yesu FTX1. Let's add a 2 meter and a 70 centimeter repeater to our memory channel list. So I'm in single mode here. If you press the DISP button here, you can have dual mode. Keep pressing, but I like to do this when I'm in single receive. So at the moment, if you look here, I'm actually in memory mode. It says here, memory all 003. So let's go to VFO mode by pressing the VM button just here. And now we can type a frequency. So let's just tap here. And we're going to go 430.925. Enter. And the frequency is in that. Then we'll select our mode, although this can be done within the memories, but we're going to select it anyway. So just here. And we're going to go FM, but you've got the choice there of FM narrow as well. So that's the output of our repeater. So we're going to be able to hear it now. And if you don't already know, the volume is just here. Turning this knob. And if you press, if you go A and B, it would go to the other side, you know. Volume's now here. Sorry, it's controlled from this side because we're using a single screen. But in dual mode, you have independent control and you can press squelch and volume look. Anyway, back to single screen. And so the one we were doing by just pressing here A and B, almost oh, flick that round. And yes, you can select the, you know, once you're in single mode, you can use the big VFO, and that's A and B. So that's pretty cool that you can do that. And it's interesting that you can select the 3DS scope if you want. And the thing I use a lot, if I press and hold, is the, go back, the D level. You tap that, and then back out with the back button. Then you can tweak tweak around your scope so it sort of looks more how you would like to read it. There you are. I use that a lot. But anyway, and look, if you notice that the the waterfall is barely showing, but turn to the right, and now it's showing. Before we save it, I just want to show you. If you press and hold function and go forward until you see these blue sections. Then go to radio setting, first one, and go to FM. As you go down, look, you've got your repeater shift that's currently selected. Okay, Keep going, and the important ones are, because we're doing two meters and 70 centimeters. So look, it says here 70 stems, 430 megahertz. You can change that. So if you the shift amount, you can just select it and then turn the function knob. Probably will it let you go? Yeah, you can do it with the arrows as well. And you can even select here your your encode, you know, your your tone squelch or tone. But if we just go, let's find two meters. There, look, 144 megahertz, look there, 0 0.60, which is what we want. But just bear in mind that got that now there is a repeater shift uh, if you go back let me go in the same window you've got automatic repeater shift well it'll put do that for you the, the plus and the minus automatically um, but otherwise just keep going and I want on this repeater I need a plus shift so it's simplex see that it just changes and shows it plus when it shows it that's what's been set and just get my frequency right all through 95 and then we want to set our tone so it's already set but I'm going to show you anyway look squelch type tap tone squelch that on when it says squelch on receive it will actually require the CTCSS tone as well I like to use encode it's got DCS Ooh. what's that Reverse tone, squelch type off, there you go, encode, because I like to hear all the noise on receive, so that we've got our shift in, shift amount, uh, squelch type, we just need to set the tone, frequency, tap, 
And again, we can just turn. All this is shown in those settings. So we can back out now. And in theory, now I've got a feeling this is in use at the moment. Uh, I've got the volume down. Let's just turn it up a bit. Sorry, I need to remember that I'm doing the volume on this side. One of these is the Farnsworth Terming. As you can see, can if I just terms. change the frequency a bit and just quickly transmit M0FXB test, test, test. You can see that everything's working, okay? So I go back to the frequency I want to save, which is that one. So now to, to store this into memory, I'm going to hold down the VM. At the top here it says VM MW. Hold it down. And it goes to a list of channels. And I'm going to go down to the first spare one. It's turning the function knob or tapping the screen. Now remember that all these things here, they're not corresponding to what's next to them. They are almost they are basically a, a keypad for changing selections. And that's what confused me because they was because they were next to it. I was like, oh, why does that say memory group? And why does that say split mode? But no, it's given you the chance to, to further change the settings that you've already applied. So I want to name one. So if I just tap the one we're gonna do, um, actually, no, we haven't said it yet. So we need to go to where we want it to be first and press and hold the VM again. It puts it in there, okay? Um, but this time we're gonna do name. So we're gonna go name, and we can now go G, B, numbers at the bottom here, three, uh, A, B, C again, F, I, enter. And it still gives you the chance to change the mode, even delete it, split memories, and select a different memory group. But that's all I want. So if we back out now, remember this is channel number four, and go into memory mode, VM button here, and turn to channel four, oh, one. It's actually the large VFO because we've got that selection. In dual band, you could use a different, but let me just quickly go, there you are. So it's changing through the memory. It's quite small, the actual text. I wonder if you can swap it, I have been looking. Anyway, GB3FI and... More, visit golf Oscar Tango Alpha dot org dot UK. Don't forget to listen out... And you've got your squelch as well. So now let's do two metres. We'll go back to VFO. And we're going to tap the, the zeros. One, four, five, uh, six hundred. Enter. That's someone there as well. But anyway, let's just do the same process again. So we're going to go and press, hold down the function. And just check our settings. So we go forward, radio. Oops. And as soon as you're on this window, as long as it's there, it high, it's there, isn't it? So tone frequency, we want 94.8 for a two meter repeater. Like so, and it's already in code. Here, repeater shift, we need minus. I wonder if we can actually just select turn that by press. Yeah, it's letting me turn it. So we need minus, press, press or tap. So if I just for testing purposes, just move forward a bit. You can see it's doing the shift there, no problem. And store into memory, press and hold VM. And we're gonna go down, turn in the function or you can tap the screen. And press VM again. We got it in there. And now we just want to name it, don't we? So we're going to go name uh, GB3 WR. Enter. So we've done it basically. Uh, go back into memory mode. And. They are flicking through the memory channels. Now if we go back into dual mode by just pressing the DISP. And on the A band, it's on memory three. On the B band, let's go to memory. And turn the, there you are, memory two, memory three. Now you've got volume on both sides and squelch. 
volume control like so when you're in memory mode you can bring back that list just by holding down the vm see that brings you back so you can change things now i we didn't mention power but you can set your power when you're doing that you just press and hold the function and keep going until you see the transmit power which is just here look so you of course set your power you can pretty much you can set everything you can actually set i'm pretty sure you can set the color of the scope and everything you can also flick so at the moment we're we're here and we're list, we're seeing the scope it says main here if we tap it says sub now you're not seeing much of a difference but it's Look here, it says RT. Press again. Well, it's not going to do it now that I want it to do it. I, I remember now what it is. So at the moment, we are flicking between the two scopes of these frequencies. The one that changes it is there's a split button up here. Now, if you short press it, is it going to let me do it now in this mode? Let's do that again. Yeah, it's letting me do it now. Look. It's letting me flick between the two. They are in VFO mode. Let's put them back in memory mode. And then let's go to the B band. Put them in memory. And now try and split. Yeah, it doesn't do it. Uh, it, it does with the filter, though. <laughs> See the filter thing? Interesting. Anyway, that's how you add memory channels and name them. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.